Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. What I want to cover in this module is how to adjust the navigation pane to make more sense and group these things together to make it nice and tidy so you can pick things up if you need to make adjustments very quickly. Also to make this, this form open up automatically on when you do file open. So first of all, this navigation pane, I want to right click at the top there and you can see you've got categories it's on it's selected to object type at the moment you can sort you can view but where i want to go is navigation options so you've got um on the left hand side you've got some groups that's the one it's on at the minute and then all the bits and bobs that's in there objects and then custom and then you can add your own so if i add it's easy and then you need to add groups with inside that so in fact I should have called that CRM it doesn't matter so I'll call this one um, sales so everything to do with sales will go in there tables queries forms and reports and call this one customers and so we've got sales customers what else can I have? Marketing. Yeah, let's have one for marketing. And status can go in there. Looking at that. Customers bookings can go in there. And that, that'll do, I think. Just those three things. And then unassigned objects for anything that's left over, like main menu. So click OK to that. And then if I go to It's Easy, you get these. So I'll just do that again. It was a bit quick. So it was on object type. So I've now gone to it's easy because I've created my own. And then I need to allocate these to the various groups. So you just basically drag and drop. You see you get a little, little shortcut arrow. So it's a shortcut you create in there. And then customers can go in there. Marketing goes into marketing, obviously. So it's not just um, status can go into there as well and sales so we want sales funnel can go into sales customer sales queries um now it's um and iron where let's go bookings will go in there as well i suppose you may well have to go back into it and so forms bookings for forms in there customers into there the form Customers into the customers area, another form. Now, these subforms I'm just going to leave. So, some of these are customer booking analysis that's going to go into sales, cross tab query is going to go into sales. You get the idea, and you're just moving these things into the relevant places. Same with reports, customer statement is going to go in customers. Now, that's you've got tables, queries, or tables and forms and reports. Uh, and obviously customer invoice that's going to go in customers um, customer sales is going to go in sales or it could go in customers it depends on what that is and then sales funnel it's going to go in sales and now you can collapse all these down and keep it nice and tidy and you're left with these unassigned objects obviously bookings probably goes in customers um tutoring courses lookup tables they can stay there i think subforms can stay there and then these macros that's bookings let's put that into bookings so that's going to go into sales and then reports is going to go into well it doesn't really matter i mean i suppose these are unassigned i'll leave them as unassigned but that's how you create your own little navigation pane so you've got sales, customers, marketing, and these unassigned. You don't want a load of things in this unassigned. I usually just have one or two, main menu being one. Now, the other thing I wanted to do was to show you two ways of getting the main menu to open up on startup. So first one, if I go into file options and then current database, you can display form when you open it main menu so every time you open this 
it will open this main menu. It's telling me that I need to close the database, which I'm not going to do. But that will open every time. So I'll just go back and take that off. Because I don't want that to do that. Main menu, put it back to nothing. Okay. What I normally would do is create a macro. So I'm going to create a macro. And you save this macro as auto exec, auto exec, like that. That will run automatically on file open. So open form, main menu, and then let's go for maximize window. So open form, main menu, maximize window, save. Close, close, and just open a different database. And I don't want to bother doing that. I'll just come, I'll just cancel that and go back into open that one. CRM, main menu opens up full screen because the macro run automatically on open. So that's the end of this little session. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one.